So it's really that simple. Just a USB cable connecting, flashing. That's it, period. Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really okay day. Today we want to take a look on a new project that I released. It's called the BitX Web Flasher. So basically what this is, it's a web flasher that you can use so you no longer need to download any software or anything else. So whenever you do have any issues with your BitX or you have soldered yourself a BitX with one of those do-it-yourself kits. If you want to get a do-it-yourself kit, check out the link in the description down below. Um, then you can simply go over to this website, connect the BitX via USB cable to your PC. And uh, as you can see here, uh, you need to make sure that you need and hold, uh, that you press and hold the boot button uh, before you make a connection. Uh, otherwise you need to press and hold the boot button and once click on the reset button to get the ESP actually in the mode to be in the boot mode and then you can actually program it. And the simply and only thing that we need to do is to click on connect. We simply connect the device that we want to use and by the way make sure that you are on a Chrome browser. Firefox or any other browser won't work. I don't know why it's, it's, it's a thing. Connect on it. And now it's connecting to it. So you can click on install BitX Flasher. So we click on this. Are you sure that you want to do this? Yes, we want to install it. Now it's doing its thing. It's uh, now taking just a second. So let's wait for this. And what it's doing in the background, it is using a software tool called the ESP Web Tool. And I use this tool and this allows you or me to actually be able to flash the software to your device via this web flasher and you just simply need to connect a USB cable. That's it. So it's really that simple. Just a USB cable connecting, flashing. That's it, period. Nothing else. That's so fantastic. It's super simple, super easy. And now let's wait for the last percent and then we should be able to see that everything is all right. And then I can take a look on the bit eggs. Okay, so the installation is complete. We can click on next. And if we now press the reset button here on the bit eggs, we should see that it is connecting, trying to connect to my SSID. And after five retries, you can connect to it via the Wi Fi signal that you will get from the bit eggs. So that's it for today's video. I really appreciate it that you have joined in there. If you do like this content, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also click or hit on the bell so don't miss out if I do any updates. Cheers.